This problem has us solve the triangle. So solve the triangle means that we want to find all the missing sides and angles. So here's the uh, ones they want us to find. Little m here, that means the measurement, find the measurement of angle A. We want to know side AB and side BC. We're given 35 degrees here and we're given 200. Uh, and we'll go ahead and we'll call that feet here so we have a, a dimension on this one. Okay, so based on that, we want to answer the rest of these questions. Now, for the measurement for angle A, we know that all the angles inside the triangle must add up to 180. We already have 90 degrees inside, and we have a 35. So, to find this one right here, we're going to do 180 minus 90 minus 35. That will give us the remaining one, because again, all of it has to add up to 180. That's why we're subtracting it from uh, 180. If we do this, we're going to get 55 degrees. So this side right here is going to be uh, 55, and that's the one that we found that wasn't originally given to us inside the triangle. So now to find these, we're, we need to use a trig definition that we talked about in the end of this section in order to set this up and solve for the missing side. So to do that, what we're going to do is we need to use either the 55 or the 35. So it does make a difference which one you do because depending on which one you pick, your opposite and adjacent sides depend on what angle we're originally using. Now in the notes, I did the problems working with 35, so instead I'm going to show you a different way. I'm going to show you working with 55 degrees instead. You can still do that, and that way it doesn't matter which one you use, you're still going to get the same answer. So I'm going to use purposely the 55 degrees, and I'll start by solving for uh, a, B. Now what you want to do is you want to pick out of, the out of the six different trig functions, you want to find one that relates the side that you're given with the side that you're trying to find. We're trying to find the hypotenuse here, that's your A, B. So I'm trying to find hypotenuse. If I'm working with the 55 degrees, this is the one I'm using here, different from the notes, I'm using 55. If you're using 55, that means that the B, C, this side is going to be your opposite and your 200 is going to be your adjacent. So I want to find a trig function that relates the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. And if you look at those six trig functions, we have either secant or cosine. Because I have a cosine on my calculator, that will be easier to use that. So I'm going to use cosine. I'm using 55 degrees. That's going to equal the adjacent over hypotenuse. In this case, it's going to be 200 over the hypotenuse, which this is going to be our side AB. So this is the definition that we want to set up and use. We want to solve for AB, so we're going to cross multiply. So I have AB cosine 55 is going to equal 200. We need to uh, solve for AB by dividing both sides by cosine 55. So now AB is equal to 200 over cosine 55. You want to make sure your calculator is in degree mode and you're going to enter this into your calculator and that's going to give us the answer. So if you put this into the calculator, what you're going to get for AB is you should get 348.69. So I've already worked this out ahead of time and this is what you should be getting for your answer. So this is going to be AB 348.69. That would be in terms of feet because the original one was given in terms of feet. Next, I want to use, I can, to find the BC, I have two options. Since I have this side now, which I know is 348.69, what I could do is I could use Pythagorean theorem with this one and that one, but that might actually be a little bit more work than we have to do because we're squaring a decimal and things like that. So instead, I'm going to actually do it by using another trig function uh, to solve that. So I could use 348, and I could use actually that, that side now that I found it, but I'm going to go back and just use the original one that I had since I know that's, that's going to be correct. I want to pick a trig function that relates this side is the one I'm trying to solve for now, BC, over the adjacent side. So I have an opposite because I'm using 55 degrees. Opposite would be, B, would be BC, and adjacent is going to be 200. So here's the definition that will be set up this time. I would be doing tangent. 55 degrees, that's going to equal BC, I don't know what it is, so I'm just going to label that as BC, over uh, 200. And so now when I cross multiply, I get BC is equal to 200 tangent 55. And when, this time if I put that into my calculator, making sure I'm in degree mode, the answer I should get is 285.63. That's going to be my BC. So 285.63, that's also going to be uh, in terms of feet. 
We've solved the triangle, we've found all the missing sides and all the missing angles.